Oi, oi, all right, all right. How's it going? I'm Grant, you're you. This is Doodle Review. We smash out reviews left, right, and center on an alt rock tip mostly, but when it rolls around to Sunday, we chill it right out and open up the jazz club. This is a weekly segment where we talk about an album either firmly in or slightly adjacent to the wonderful genre that is jazz. The last couple of weeks, we've been a little outside the realms of the genre, but today we're bringing it back with a collaborative album between Fabiano, Do Nascimento and Sam Gendel. I first discovered Sam Gendel a couple of years back with his tremendous album Superstore, a record in which Gendel's incredibly unique effects drenched approach to the saxophone is explored from almost every possible angle. What makes Gendel's playing so innovative is the way in which he co- incorporates effects and modern digital production techniques on top of what is already a totally virtuosic level of skill. Superstore is a collection of vignettes, soundscapes and tonal pieces that are as mercurial as they are deeply entrancing. It's the album that got me into Gendel, but as a prolific artist it's been interesting to discover just how fluid and adaptable he is. I fell in love with his fast follow-up Blue Blue, a lo-fi rainy day ambient instrumental album, but was completely turned off by last year's Cook Up, an album of interpretive covers that represented a lot of what I dislike about the kind of late 2000s, early 10s trope of covering popular R&B or pop songs in a quirky acoustic style. This latest album, a collaboration with Fabiano do Nascimento, a Brazilian composer, producer and shit-hot guitarist, more on him in a moment, this latest album is thankfully a change once again from Cook Up, the one I weren't so keen on. Uh, But it does once again show another side of Gendel's playing I wasn't aware of. This shows the side of a next level showboating straight up sax player with chops for days. That's not to say any of his playing on the room is distasteful, far from it in fact, but this is probably the most pure traditional display of his playing I've yet to hear on record. This display of classic form from Gendel is necessary on this album to match the tone and pace of Nascimento's spellbinding acoustic guitar playing. The Room is my first ever exposure to Fabiano Don Nascimento, a guitarist known, like Gendel is for sax, for a unique approach to his instrument. He often performs on 7, 8 and even 10 string nylon guitars and also incorporates electronics into his playing. While there aren't any electronics to my ears on this record, I would not be surprised to learn that there are more than your average number of guitar strings at play. To be honest, it sounds more like the guy has a custom hand of 7, 8 or 10 fingers, let alone strings. I probably don't have to spell it out at this point, but the playing from the two artists on this album is incredible. It's impressive and commands respect just on a performance level, uh, but the pieces themselves are also beautifully composed and arranged. I think my favourite aspect of this short but engaging record is that the album allows for the full spectrum of play from both artists. There are tracks where both of them are just going off, then others where Gendel plays a supporting role to Nascimento and vice versa, others where Nascimento allows Gendel to take the lead. This makes for an album that feels like you're getting to hear both artists at their best, while also never feeling like a bombardment of non-stop wankery. Foiboto opens with the uh, the record with a cool, mischievous kind of track. It's led by this two-note back-and-forth bass part. Nascimento fits these short, flowing, melodic guitar flourishes around that, while Gendel goes off on what sounds like a clarinet. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like I should always stress that when it comes to jazz, I'm definitely a lover, but far from an expert. Either way, it's an amazing way to open the album, and it's super exciting, but has that what I like to call that kind of laid-back, cool Parisian vibe to it that I absolutely love as well. And if it sounds like Nascimento is being super restrained on this first one, it's because he is. While the next track, Capriccio, features some beautiful runs from Gendel, it's here that Nascimento shows a new listener like me what he's capable of. His dexterity and mastery of the fretboard is awe-inspiring, so much that it can be easy to forget that for a lot of this, Gendel is actually matching him note for note. It's kind of sublime, to be honest with you. Uh, Astral Flowers represents one of the most significant shifts in tone on the record. Gendel's playing here sits mainly in an upper register to the point where it almost sounds like he's playing a flute. Uh, And this coupled with the melodies he's actually playing conjure a very fantastical setting. I can't decide if it sounds like the backing to an old sea shanty or some sort of Lord of the Rings fantasy tale. I think that would be a bit off-putting for me if 
I was around for longer, but fortunately Nascimento comes forward with this percussive, harmonic driven tone that takes the piece in a more kind of groove orientated direction. I could go on track for track here, but I really think my best recommendation is just to go and listen to it. And then once you've gotten your head around the majesty of this whole thing, then know that the whole thing, it was recorded in just two days. This is an 8.9 for me, an absolutely brilliant instrumental jazz bossa nova classical leaning improvisational record that, well, if you're here for a video called Sunday Jazz Club, I'm just going to go out on a limb and assume that you'll love it like I do. All right, I'll pack it in now, but it's your turn. Get in those comments right now and tell me what you thought of this. Or if you haven't heard it, go and listen. Listen again. Listen one more time. Then come back and tell me what you thought. Subscribe, share some thoughts, show some love, or just hold some abuse in the comments. There are more related reviews in the description underneath this floating face right here. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye.